Hey what's up guys it's technology hell back here welcome back to another video you guys might have seen my previous video which was how to set up streamlabs obs and in this video i'm gonna show you how can you start streaming pubg mobile or any other mobile game such as free fire or call of duty straight from your computer in this way you will be playing the game on your phone and through your phone you will be doing the live stream on any platform with the help of your computer the display and the audio from your phone will be sent to your computer and through your computer encoded by the obs it will be sent to the streaming server so without wasting much time let's quickly begin with the video So let's have a look at the things that you need in order to get started with live streaming. The first thing is your computer. With Streamlabs software installed on it, all the scenes must be configured and your YouTube channel must be connected with it. If you want to know how can you download, install and configure Streamlabs, then you can just check the video. I have already made a video on that topic. The link is in the description as well as you can press the i button and then check that video out. Then you need your smartphone which should have the game installed on it with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity features working perfectly. The third thing that you need is a USB cable. The cable which you get with your phone is the best thing according to this purpose. In my case I am using a type C cable. You can use the micro USB cable or the type C. It's up to your phone which it supports. Then you need a Bluetooth adapter. In case you are using a laptop you have inbuilt Bluetooth installed in it. So you don't need to buy this. If you want to buy, I have provided the best buy link down in the description. You may just check it out. Then you need a headphone or an earphone, whichever you are comfortable with. In my case, I have a headphone which does not have an inbuilt microphone. So I have a secondary microphone which is to be connected to my desktop and then I can start with it. So the complete idea is to transmit the game screen from your phone into your computer through the USB cable and the game audio through the Bluetooth. In case you have problems with sound latency which is created due to Bluetooth where you find a lag of about 1 or 2 seconds in the transmission of sound then you can just go with aux cable. Just a simple aux cable, one end to go on your phone and the other to go on the line in. But in case you are using an aux cable then you cannot do voiceovers on your live stream. So it is recommended to stay with Bluetooth. So let's start with the first step which is connecting the phone's display to the computer. So to do that we need to make a few changes in the phone. So just go to your device settings. Scroll down to about device. Software information and then tap the build number 7 times. Enter your password if so. And then you will get a pop up saying developer options have been enabled. Now you need to go to the developer option settings. Scroll down and you will find USB debugging. You just need to switch it on. It will give you prompts, reply with OK and that's it. Make sure the USB debugging feature is turned on and now we are ready for the next step. Now we have to connect the phone and the computer together with the help of the USB data cable. So just simply insert the USB cable one end on the system and the other end on your smartphone and here the phone has been connected now just let your phone stay unlocked and now we need to make some changes on the desktop settings so let's quickly get to our desktop you need to go to the link in the description and download this archive called mirror the size is about 20 mb after downloading what you need to do is to open this archive and there you will find a folder named mirror just extract the folder out of the archive using any zip software and once done just get that folder open the folder and inside the folder you'll find a windows batch file named as scrcpy that stands for screen copy you just need to right click and choose run as administrator it will ask for your administrator permissions you need to reply with yes and once you launch the scrcpy application it will suddenly open up with a cmd window and then close down and then you can find the permission prompt on your phone screen so just choose always allow from this computer and just click on ok so that's it now just go and run the screen copy application once again 
and this time you will see that your phone's screen has been casted to your computer. Whatever changes you will make on your phone, the same display change will be there on your computer screen. So in this way you can just get your phone screen cast to your computer. Now let's move on to casting the Android audio via Bluetooth. So in order to connect the Bluetooth, make sure that your desktop and your Android, both of them have Bluetooth connectivity feature turned on. So just go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone and then on your desktop, just click on the button add Bluetooth device. Now just let it scan and once it detects your phone, just select your phone and just click on next. And then you will get a prompt on your phone. Just reply with OK. Just click on next on your computer. And there it is showing that your phone has been successfully paired with your computer. Just click on finish and exit. Now you can see that your computer will be listed on your smartphone's Bluetooth paired device list. So just click on your computer. And then just wait for a few seconds and you will get a prompt on your system saying that your phone wanna connect. So just click allow and let it connect with your system. And there your Android device is connected to your computer. Make sure that you get this small window. This window determines that your Android phone is connected. But make sure that you go to this gear icon and check that your calls and audio, both of them should be turned on, only then it will work properly. So now the audio has been connected. Now let's move on to configuring our streaming software. Make sure that your microphone is connected to your computer or your laptop. Alright guys, here we are on our computer screen. Once you are on your computer, you should make sure your phone's display is being cast to your computer via the screen copy through your USB cable. Then the second thing to make sure is your Bluetooth should be connected to your phone and your game's audio should be coming out through your computer speakers or your computer headphones. Remember in this case our microphone connected to the computer is going to be used for the voiceover. The headphone connected to the computer is going to be used for the game. And the inbuilt microphone of your phone will be used for your in-game voice chat. Remember these three things and then you are ready to proceed. So this is my bluetooth window for my phone's audio to be casted to the computer. So now just let's quickly launch Streamlabs and then check the settings that we need to make there in order to start the game capture and start live streaming the PUBG Mobile through the phone and the OBS. So here the OBS window has opened. If you don't know how to download and install OBS and how to set up the things in OBS, you can just check the video. I have provided a link in description. I have made a video on how to set up OBS. You can just see it and set your OBS for your own. By default, you should have your display capture in your game capture screen. So just hide it for now as we are not going to use display capture. Just click on the add a new source button. Over there just select game capture and just click on the button add source. So I have already created a scene for game capture. I'll create a new one and show it to you. Just type the name and just click on add source. Now the game capture settings will open up on your screen. Just go to the mode and choose capture specific window then in the section of window just select your window where your phone's display is being cast so you can just check the name by this one it is smm37f for me so i'll just choose that window out here and there we are done just click on done if it is giving a black screen just switch to your game window and by then you should have your phone's screen casted to your streamlabs display screen make sure your alert box is kept at the top Otherwise your phone's display will cover up your alerts and your stream won't be good. So in this way you can just get your phone screen into your game scene. If you have multiple scenes, you can just do the same thing with all and then just get it casted out there. So this is my second scene. Then I have a third one. And this is also the same with the game screen. In this way you have your game screen casted and you are ready to go live. But before you go live, make sure your do not disturb in phone is turned on. Otherwise unnecessary notifications will create troubles and also make sure that your room is a quiet environment otherwise you will have lots of noise in your stream. Use a good quality microphone for a good voiceover otherwise your streamers will find it boring and make sure you are giving continuous commentary otherwise people will definitely find it boring and they will give a dislike and just exit your video. So in this way you can just set up Streamlabs and start streaming.
So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found this video interesting and helpful. If you have any doubts or any issues regarding this, make sure you write down in the comments. I'll surely reply you back. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as we are coming up with such videos every week. Thanks for watching.